new for you this morning. Big news out of Rio Rancho. The city's mayor, Thomas Swistak, says he will not run for re-election in March of next year. Mr. Swistak says he will continue to serve as mayor until that position expires. That will be after the election, of course. He gave us a statement saying, quote, after careful thought and consideration, I made the decision that after serving for more than 22 years as an elected official, it is time to focus on the next chapter of my life. Good luck with that, Mr. Swistak. All right, also in Rio Rancho, Police Chief Robert Boone is going to step down this at the end of November. Mr. Boone has in, been in law enforcement for 41 years. He's been the chief in Rio Rancho since 2004. He's retiring to join his family in Florida. Very exciting. No word on who's going to replace him, but this morning the Albuquerque Journal is reporting Rio Rancho City Manager Keith Riceberg says he'll pick out an acting chief before Mr. Boone steps down. A lot of big changes headed to Rio Rancho. Well, and things are really heating up in the battle about the future of Albuquerque's Bosque. The activist group Olay delivered about 600 letters and petitions yesterday here in opposition to Mayor R.J. Berry's Rio Grande vision. The city, as you probably have heard, is considering building out access points, improving existing areas, picnic ones, and removing invasive species in the Bosque. This week, the city postponed a public comment meeting on this area. It's going to go from central to the I-40 bridge. The mayor says it's because the city is still going through a lot of input from the last meeting it had. What we're trying to do is build a community plan here. Uh, we know that the majority of people in town, vast majority, want the river more into their day-to-day -day lives. How we do that and how we go about that is absolutely open for discussion. We appreciate the Bosque very much. We'd love it to be protected and have conservation continued. Um, we don't want a path in the Bosque, though. Definitely a lot of debate on this. The city plans on holding more public meetings this fall and in the winter. Well, it's just the uh, almost the end of September, beginning of fall. It may seem too early to think about the holidays, not if you go to the store, but there are some great opportunities out there for those of you looking for a job, particularly a part-time temporary one. According to the Albuquerque Journal, Coles is planning on opening up 50,000 positions all around the country. For the season, this means there could be 200 seasonal jobs opening up right here in New Mexico. I believe it's about the same number Coles had last year. There aren't many positions open right now, but Coles spokesperson Sidney Hoffer says the company will start opening the positions as the holidays get closer. Seasonal workers do anywhere from a few hours to a week to more than 20 hours per week. Cole says hiring began earlier this month. Most jobs will be filled by mid-November. A lot of the hiring happens next month in October, and some of those jobs go on to be permanent. All right, 635 now. Two things police will tell you do not go together. Babies and motorcycles. Well, police and really a lot of people would tell you that. But take a look. A picture taken in Albuquerque then posted on Facebook shows not everyone thinks it's wrong to take a baby for a ride down the street. This was snapped along Central Avenue near Girard a few days ago. We blurred out the faces of the driver and the passenger because they didn't get a ticket for this. The photo was snapped, then posted to Facebook, where the outpouring of outrage came in fast and furious. State police say having a baby on the motorcycle is a bad idea and is illegal for a few reasons. First of all, the child is not properly restrained. The child does not have a helmet on, and it could be considered child abuse, not to mention potentially deadly if, God forbid, there was a crash. What happens when the driver of the motorcycle accelerates, makes a, a, a abrupt turn, uh, swerves, you know, what's going to happen to mother and child? All right, in the back and forth about this photo on Facebook, someone claimed that it was not a baby, that it was a dog. The photographer, no, came back and said, insisted it was a baby. State police say, dog or baby, it is still against the law. And honestly, probably just not right. Well, New Mexico State Police say a teen who died after a foam party at Expo New Mexico may have been close to a drug overdose when she went in to the party. Hannah Brush told paramedics she took too much ecstasy last month. She was just 14 years old. According to a police report we got a hold of, Hannah and three friends got to the party here at Expo New Mexico about 8.30 at night on August the 10th. Now, before the girls went in, they took a strong form of ecstasy. It is called Molly. The police report says Hannah took three times more than the others, saying she paid the hundred bucks for the drugs, so she wanted her share. Toxicology reports are not in yet, but the cause of death is suspected to be an ecstasy overdose. Expo New Mexico is no longer renting out the space 
for these kinds of raves, phone parties, or anything like that. Remember earlier this week, we also had a story about one of the men involved in organizing this had quite the criminal history. Such a sad story, 14 years old.